Okay, in this video, I am going to show you how to use your calculator a little bit, and I'm going to start like right from the beginning, as if you don't know what you're doing at all. So uh, what I did was I turned it on, and uh, if it's on, I would press uh, this key, the home key, or just the on key. It takes you to this page. If it doesn't look like this, uh, you should see me, or I guess your teacher, uh, and get them to update your operating system, or you can figure it out on your own. It's really not that hard, but either way. Uh, I'm going to pick new document, just because... Uh, I want to show you everything from the beginning. And what I want to do is add a calculator page. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going through page 9 of um, notes 1. Uh, so the first thing I need to do is define a function. So the function I'm going to define is called f of x. So I'm going to type f, like literally hitting the letter f, and then uh, parenthesis, that's over here, and then x, the letter x, so down here. And then, uh, so I'm going to arrow out of the parentheses. It automatically opens and closes parentheses for you, but you have to get out of it. Uh, and then what I need is colon equals. So that's how the calculator understands you're defining a function. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm going to press control and then this button right here, it's the templates button. And it, you can see there's a colon and then an equals. And now I'm just going to type in uh, two to the X. So I need an exponent. So uh, this key gives you squared, which is the most common exponent that you type. So it has its own key. But in general, this uh, carrot, this upward carrot, will give you exponents, so I want 2 to the x. And then to get out of there, I can either arrow once to the right, or if I'm still up there, I can hit tab. Tab is actually really useful if your uh, cursor is somewhere you don't want it. So if I hit tab, it bounces me down. And now what I'm going to do is finish this. So minus, I want the cube root. So cube root, uh, square root actually, is uh, if I press control, and then the x squared button, it takes me to the uh, radical symbol. Square roots being the most common type of radical that you take. But I want a cube root, so I'm going to press control. And then I'm going to press the caret button. You can see there's a little picture of what you're getting there. So press that. You can see there's a, a light gray box here and a dark gray box here. I have to fill in the dark gray box. This one's actually optional. If I don't fill it in, it'll fill in a, a 2, kind of like a hidden 2. But I want a 3. So that, and now I'm going to press tab because that's how you bounce around a template. And x minus 7, and press enter. It should say done. If it doesn't say done, you've screwed something up, and you should uh, rewind and watch that again. Uh, so now what I'll do is, if I type f of, so in the notes it says to do f of negative 1. And I'm going to press enter, and it gives me 5 halves. If I want... Um, to redo that, I can arrow up. Actually, you can arrow up to anything, and if you press Enter, it'll paste it down, and then you can edit it. Um, so if I go up to this, press Enter. If I want a decimal, I'm going to do Control Enter instead of just Enter, and it gives me 2.5. Uh, that's useful, uh, especially if you don't recognize the fraction, you want an approximation. Uh, and then there's a couple others. So if I do F of 5. And then I, it wants me to do f of pi. So I'm going to use the pi key. So down here, press that. A bunch of things come up. The only one we really need right now is pi. So press pi, and I get that. Um, and that's all there is to that. Uh, the next thing it says to do in the notes, which I'm really just following along with, is I need to define the function uh, f of x equals cosine of pi times x. So I'm actually just going to retype it. So if I do f, see how it's bold? That means there's already something stored as f of x. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite the function. So just write right over it. So f of x, same basic thing. Um, control, and then the templates gives me colon equals, which is what I want. And then cosine, there's this trig key right here. Press that, and you get all of them. Cosine of pi, so I'm going to hit the pi key. Press a lot of buttons here. Um, times x. So I'm actually, uh, it's optional, but I'm going to put times, the multiplication symbol and then x, and I get that. It says done. Um, so now what I'll do is uh, f of 0, because the table wants me to fill that in. So f of 0, my calculator is telling me 1, uh, which is right. Uh, if I do f of 0.5, I get 0. You might not get 0. Uh, you should get 0. I'm getting 0 because up here where it says angle, it says rad. Uh, my calculator is in radians. Yours needs to be in radians, too, if you're going to get these answers. Um, I can tell you quickly how to do that. So what I'm going to do is press the on key, and then I'm going to go to settings, and then number two is document settings. And you see here, so I'm arrowing up and down, but you can tab up and down as well. 
Uh, so if arrowing doesn't work, which it might not on your calculator, just hit tab, it'll take you down here. Then arrow once to the right, and you're probably in degrees if you're getting the wrong answer. You want to be in radians, so arrow to radians, press enter, and then tab a lot until you get to make default, press enter, All right, you're okay with this, so press okay. Um, and then you want to go back to the current document, so that's option four. And we're back here. So if you got the wrong answer the first time, try it again now. You should get the right answer. And then you can punch in the rest of those. Not a big deal. Uh, I'm going to cut this video here and come back and uh, do the rest of this. So I hope you have found this helpful so far, and good luck.